Yeah, when I'm alone at home. Oh, scheiße. Start my day, otherwise, I'll start feeling really weak. It's not so bad, it's just that when I, I don't like to drink it on its own, I would rather dilute it with uh, either water or add something else. It's like the orange color so intense. Somehow, feel like if I'm drinking this every day, I have to clean my teeth more often, like professionally, like get them. I feel like it just the color is so intense. I feel like just thinking about the tea. The yellow in the green, shortest way possible. Then I'll mix. Um, I usually mix this with orange juice. Yes. Breakfast for me is like a cocktail of the nutrients. And then here. It's just like a kickstart to give me some energy while I'm waking to for the tea and everything else that I would like to have. Yeah. So I got like a tahini, some chickpeas. Like extra virgin olive oil and garlic. You probably already want to, you know what I'm going to make. And cumin. This is not cumin. I'm just gonna use it because I don't find cumin like this. I don't know. Something Indian smelling like. So I'm gonna make hummus as a snack for the day. I really like hummus from the turkey shop, like when we go. To Berlin and get some meat. I will also buy hummus. They just it smells so nice and it is very nice. I think they use I don't know if the chickpeas are roasted. No, I would say the stuff that they use is raw, like smoked. Maybe it's made from smoked sesame seed or something like that. It is really intense, and I've never been able to replicate it at home. However, what I make at home is also fine. So I love the garlic. Me and I'm by myself and I can pretty much eat as much garlic as I want, but it's not a lot so much. I'll say a quarter of a towel should be fine. I'm wasting much garlic green stuff. Back in the days when uh, when we started the YouTube channel, I also made like a a hummus recipe. If you look, if you want to check out, the recipe should be somewhere on YouTube. Because when you, I thought I was really crazy about hummus. We used to make it every single day. Now it's like we take our time, but it's it's a very nice snack. You can eat it with vegetables. You can eat it with what else? Bread as well in the morning. Just if you don't want to use marmalade or anything sweet or no bread, you can use this as well. And I would like to add some chili to make it just a little bit spicy. This is not in the original recipe, but who cares about that? I think I'm going to make it the way I want or I like it. Since I discovered that I'm pregnant, I've been eating really, really spicy food. Like, I don't have strong cravings for like what to eat or so, but I've been eating everything extra extra spicy like like never before
What I want to eat right now, everything spicy. So I will just go ahead and separate this into I put this in two small bowls. One is for today, one is for later or for tomorrow. Close. This my tahini, um, you can't really see well. Sometimes this lens is weird. So royal was tea. Oh, that's a perfect color. Ah, perfect color. I miss honey from the village. Like I remember back in the it's really back in the day when I was young and I spent more time in the village. We would it's not like us, maybe my uncle or just somebody who was working in our home, like guys, usually for guys and men, husbands and boys. They would just wake up early in the morning, I don't remember which season is that, and go to the forest and bring like fresh Fresh honey, where you have like the cough, everything like that never ever tastes like the honey from the that we buy in the shop. It's just something different, and I really, really miss that. I'm hoping, like, we were hoping to go to Namibia this year around around the cultivation season, where you can also see greenery and add it to taste. Fresh stuff didn't work out due to COVID, so we are hoping that maybe next year it's going to be possible to do that. But let's see. Let's see if it's going to be possible. So I never really liked apples, but I'm trying to eat healthy. So to my breakfast, I also have an apple. Always keep shea butter. No, I use a lot of shea butter. I love. So yesterday I bought actually just what I had. Again, when I ordered the tahini, I also ordered like a kilogram. This is like a kilo of shea butter. I love this. It doesn't smell as traditional as when I want to get it from the Afro shop, but the. I would prefer the one from the Afro soft, but also find it quite softer. This is a little bit harder, but I wanted shea butter right away. So Amazon always deliver. I don't know. Now I feel like Amazon deliver within 24 hours. Things come very, very fast. So this is like my breakfast for today. Rebos tea, a mixture of that cocktail of orange juice and carrot, tahini, and then I have some apples. Yeah, that's it. But I do, when Alice not at home, we can't sit down together and have breakfast. I would usually just take the things to my working desk. But today I'm not working at my working desk. My working desk is terrible. Alice's working, working place is amazing. So I moved here for a while. I'll be working here today. While I'm waiting for my meetings to start at 1, I would do some... We have a couple of, you know, it's end of the month. Bills to pay... Also a little bit of revision on the, our stock investment portfolio. I'm going to look into that and see if we need to do some patches, some sales whatsoever. And what else? I think pretty much I had to pay some bills and I need to do the stock market. Usually it's hours work, but I'm going to check it today. And yeah, hopefully by then it's going to be 12 lunch and then work. What I would usually do, even when I'm not really doing like real work, 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 like my job, I would still want to just know a list of everything that needs to be paid. Mm -hmm. Oh, the apples with hummus is actually a new thing. I love this. Anyways, while I'm here, 
but I wanted to actually have lunch somewhere else, maybe on a dining table somewhere. I'm not a working table, but it's weird. But I don't have enough of a, like a long break time, and I also wanted to do something on the like private. While I'm eating on my computer before I go back to the meetings. While I'm here, I just wanted to say a bit before you all come to me with bad comments. So I'll leave you all the time and stuff and stuff and stuff. Yeah. From the beginning of the year, I decided to do so many training test exams this year, and most of them actually did went very well. Like the board license, the first, the second. <laughs> when the first and the second exam went very well. The third one didn't go well, and during the first quarantine season, yeah, COVID is now like a season here, <clears throat> also did several trainings and I think two extra exams that he passed. The last exam he did was the, the one for the international board license, and that didn't go well, was really not happy about it. So at the moment, he also sign up for some extra courses and some other exams to learn further software what word anyways the thing is that he just felt he wanted to be away from home for a while to focus on preparing for these trainings and the exam so it's going to take maybe a week or two to three i don't know how long the one thing i know for sure weekend he's gonna come back home but from monday to friday depending on how short or how long the training is some training take like five days and then you have like a short exam some will take maybe three days and then you have a, a test or something like that yeah it's going to be away i don't think it's bad because i also did a couple of training this year at the beginning of the year i was away from home and this is why most of the times we kind of take a break from youtube and maybe i'll spend sometimes in um in Italy, while I'm here alone, especially when I have to do trainings also here or when I have to focus on some exams here, then you also just go away and spend some time in, in Italy. And this time, because the training that he's doing is also in Germany, he is not in Italy. He, we still kind of have access to our old apartment. And he just felt like, okay, you know what? I really, really don't want to do this exam two times. I'm going to go away focus on studying doing my online courses write the exam weekends coming back home and that's it and hopefully he's only has to do it once and it's going to be done with it and then yeah meanwhile i'm here and i think it's also i really think it's not bad because when we're in home office um it's different than if i was going to work because then he would have more time to himself to really focus on his thing but now when i'm also here every single day from morning to evening going around the kitchen i don't know on my other my skype stuff and so on it is a little bit of distraction so i understand that and i'm here to support him when if that's what it takes and he wants to do that i'm okay with it i'll be just here <coughs> chilling today i have actually a very important appointment Let's see how it goes, because we're supposed to go together. It's like a baby related appointment, but he's not here. He cannot go with me. I don't know. Let's see. I don't know what I'm going to say, because they definitely going to ask me if I'm married. And now let's hope when I say yes, they're going to believe me, because it's important. It's a very important appointment. Very, very important. I'm not even sure. I'm be. I don't know. I was thinking I might even show up with a picture and say if they I am married, he is my husband, he's not here with me, he just had to do some stuff work related. Or oh, I should just show up and say, hey, I'm married. I just, I don't know, I think it's weird. Uh, but yeah, I hope they are nice people and they're going to say, okay, if you're here by yourself. <laughs> and I think it should, it should also be fine because there are some, obviously, single mothers or people who are pregnant they are not in relationship with or they are no longer with their partner or they don't live together and they do so just talk also by them you have to go to classes for learning about how to prepare for the baby and stuff like that by yourself so i think they should be okay let's go mm.
going to make some lunch for me right now, and I'm not even. So I have some leftover to me just to from yesterday. Then I have a tea from morning time that I didn't finish. I will just warm up the. And then I have some potatoes. Very popular in German dish. I'll do that. This is some leftover potatoes. I don't get to use. It's really weird in home office. You know, like the first, let me say the first week, I was very excited. But it starts immediately after a few days feeling like, oh my goodness, it sucks, you're in quarantine. It's not like we're in quarantine, but the fact that you don't really, for a long time, I wanted to go to Berlin, but I cannot go to Berlin. is quite risky for me. As a pregnant woman, I just don't want to go to shopping centers and places that are full of people. And I start to realize that when you go to work, it's way better than sitting at home because, unless if you live in a mansion, but our house is quite small. Uh, at work, you would, even when I used to work in the office, because mine is different. Oh, Scheiße. I'm recording this the whole time, and I'm only noticed now. They, the last video somebody was talking about how bad the, the voice is on, on our channel or the sound is on our channel at the moment and I was wondering oh why and I just discovered we haven't been filming maybe with the microphone on I'm going to look at that yes I think we're okay so for lunch I made myself some I don't know if the camera can even focus I'll bring my face close to it so it focuses better. Potatoes, super simple, and a little bit of tomato soup, sauce, the thing that I made yesterday. And that's it. That's it. It's edible. Pretty much nothing special. If you enjoy this kind of video, give us a like, subscribe to our channel. I'm also saying this for Ale and Be happy to say this with me as well. And yeah, see you in our next video. Ciao, ciao, ciao.